Happy autumn, climate nerds! Before we sip on our pumpkin spice lattes, let's review the United States and global climate reports for summer 2017 from NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Summer 2017 was the third warmest summer on land and over the ocean since global records began in 1880, coming in just behind 2016 and 2015. The average global temperature across land surfaces was nearly 2 degrees Fahrenheit above normal, making 2017 the second warmest June through August time period in the 138-year record. Here in the United States, we experienced our 15th warmest and 16th wettest summer since 1880 in 2017. Temperatures at the ocean surface tied with 2015 for the second warmest summer in history. This animation shows sea surface temperatures over the summer as measured by NOAA satellites in space. Blue areas were cooler than normal, while red areas were warmer than normal. Two very significant phenomena were hot topics this summer. First was the Great American Eclipse, which occurred on August 21st. Our moon passed directly between the sun and the earth, causing a total solar eclipse from our viewpoint. Satellites saw the moon's shadow glide across the United States from Oregon to South Carolina, and people across the country measured it cooling the Earth's surface throughout its traverse. A week later, tragedy struck when Hurricane Harvey made landfall in southeastern Texas, being the first major hurricane to hit the United States mainland in over a decade. The slow-moving storm dropped torrential rains across Texas and southwestern Louisiana, Record rainfall, heavy enough to bend the Earth's crust, led to unprecedented flooding in and around Houston. Tens of thousands of people were displaced due to its floodwaters, with thousands of homes and businesses destroyed. Seventy people lost their lives during Hurricane Harvey. In some places, Harvey dumped three feet of rain over the five days that it crawled across the Texas Gulf Coast. Local rainfall totals commonly marked over 40 inches, and some places reported receiving over 50 inches of rain. Houston measured the highest five-day rainfall total in any major U.S. city in recorded history. And remember kids, a warming climate favors these sorts of excessive rainfall events. So, for the inside scoop on how to be prepared before, confident during, and resilient after a flood, visit NOAA's Weather Ready Nation webpage. And that, my wonderful climate nerds, is your Summer 2017 Climate Digest. For more information, please visit the website shown at the end of this video. Happy autumn, everybody!